Hey there, welcome on into the Big East Digital Network Studios. I'm Jay Alter with a fall sports update. I know everybody had a great Labor Day weekend, but no one had a better one than the Georgetown men's soccer team, the Hoyas, knocking off number 15 UCLA in the country over the weekend to improve to 4-0 and keep their undefeated season alive. And we're lucky enough to be joined with a couple of Hoyas, head coach Brian Weiss, goalkeeper JT Marcinkowski, and Big East Defensive Player of the Week, Peter Schropp. Fellas, congratulations. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, for having me. thanks for having us. Coach, let's start with you. 4-0, and two of those wins against ranked opponents. What are the key ingredients early in this season for the strong start? Yeah, I, I think there's been some pretty consistent performances by, by the guys. Um, you know, I think we have a lot more depth than we've had in the past. Uh, our, our, our freshman group, we have a bigger freshman group, um, have uh, assimilated really, really well into the team. And uh, as a fall sport, you only have a, a really short period of time to, to get these guys involved and into the team and understanding what they're doing. So we have, I think we have a lot more depth than, than uh, maybe we had last year. And, and uh, you know, training's been really competitive. Um, you know, I think in any good soccer team, we have a, we have a, an excellent goalkeeper. I, I, for my money, JT's the best in the country. Um, it gives us a real calm presence, uh, uh, but so far he hasn't had to do a huge amount of uh, heroics. I think the guys in front of him are doing a really good job. And so uh, when you have when you have a, a good solid defense and you got somebody who's putting the ball in the back of that, uh, good things tend to happen. Coach, you mentioned your defense so strong at the beginning of the season. Only one goal conceded in the first four games. I'll, I guess I'll ask the two guys that are pillars on the Hoyas uh, defense, Peter and JT. What's been working so well for you guys on the defensive end? I know, JT, you haven't been kept too busy because of how the back line's performed. Yeah, I think uh, having the guys come in and really step up. Um, we had kind of had a little bit of injuries in the back line, and a couple of guys have come in, Dave Mason and Sean O'Hearn, have played really, really well. Um, Sean being a freshman, he's come in and shown that he can play at the college level. And also, I think Dylan Nielsen and Peter Schrapp have been back there, have been really steady um, from the fall season last year. And then, it's made my life really easy. I think, I think in four games I've had six or seven saves, whatever it is. And as a goalie, you love that. I mean, ideal game when having zero saves and a shutout. Um, so for me, they've made my life real easy. And all the yeah, I think um, last year we had pretty, a very similar back line, um, and I think that really matured us. Um, I think this year we just we know we have to work hard, um, and we've all kind of bought into what the coaches are saying. Is there a sense of team unity, momentum building in the locker room as you continue the win in the opening games to this season? Absolutely. Um, well, obviously winning's a lot of fun, um, and so we've seen we've seen really happy. Um, and yeah, after the first game to now, I think we've really grown as a team. Uh, I'm hoping that we can just keep it rolling as games come on. Coach, we'll come back to you. You've scheduled really competitively in the non-conference once again this season. Why is it so important to do that in this Big East conference when it rolls around to conference play? Well, I think the, the aspirations of all the, the, the teams in the Big East start to be nationally competitive and get as many teams into the NCAA tournament as we can as a conference and to be really successful once we get there. Um, you know, these, these games, and this weekend's game at UConn, you know, these, are, these are great games for us to prepare us for um, what hopefully is, is, a, is a successful season that, that, that gets you into a postseason. And, and these are games that, um, that if you can handle these kinds of environments, we're going to see the exact same thing when we, when we travel to a place like Xavier, when we, when we travel up to St. John's, when you're playing uh, Cravens and, and Providences and, and, and Butlers. These are, they're just great games. If you don't prepare for those games without a confidence opponents like what we're facing, you're not going to be ready for the rigors of what the Big East gives you. I think a lot of the successes we've had so far, it's a young season still, plenty, plenty of soccer to be played, but I think the reason they've been able to handle the first few weeks of the season as well as they have is because of uh, what they're used to. Guys, good luck the rest of the way, and thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having us.